Hey there, Kim Valentine here from Colorful Spirits Art Studio in Elm City, North Carolina. And I am working on the second side of my mason jar. The first side has a Valentine's design on it. So what I did, I taped it off and so that I don't get any paint on the other side and I'm going to start on this side. So let me start with my jar lid. I've already got my wire on there, which is kind of in the way, but we'll make it work. Now these um, boards kind of soak up the paint, so it's going to, I'm sure it's going to need two coats of white. We will get it started. So the design that I'm going to do, I'm going to do a 4th of July uh, design on this side. So we've got a two-sided. And I can change the bows out to work with either color. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to have some kind of chevron designs down here. So I'm going to go do well, I've got my white paint. And then I can let the top dry a little bit. I couldn't decide what I wanted on here, so I've got a lot of erased um, ideas. So I don't know if you can see that in the camera. I apologize if you do, if it's confusing. So I'm just getting my first coat of whites on all of these areas. Probably could use to dry a little bit more still. But I'm gonna just okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get some of the get some of the black in here, so I'm just gonna have some mix in a little bit with this to make the kind of grayish metal looking. to the red, but I think I'm going to do a little coat of this white here, because you can see that this is still, you can still see the, um, I think it's an MDF board or something through here, so, and I'm not going crazy about staying in the lines, so. I 
I just want to have fun with what I'm doing, so I'm not trying try not to overthink it too much. It's all about the process and enjoying yourself. So if you get too crazy about your straight lines and whatever else isn't perfect, you'll make yourself nuts. Now, if you need to dry something more quickly while you're working on it, you can always take a hair dryer and um, just lay this spot up here the most. You can always take a hair dryer to it. I'll put it in my water bucket a little too quickly, so I'll have to touch that up later. So I probably should dry this white because I can almost guarantee I'm going to make some pink here, but let's see what happens. So again, I'm not going too crazy with my worrying about my straight lines, but I'm definitely slowing down a little bit with the red because a little harder to hide. Hopefully I taped up the other side well enough. I taped it and I put some paper on it so that I try not to get some and make this paint on the other side and ruin my other design. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to touch that up there. A little, a little carried away. just like to do these things two-sided so if you're going to store it at least you're storing it for two holidays worth and then you know you get your money's worth out of purchasing the thing too and I mean you know the a mason jar could you can make it for anything the Valentine's Day one has those little conversation hearts in it that say you know kiss me or whatever and then you could do it for Patrick's Day, you could do it for Easter, and then you could really use a mason, whoopsie, I think I'm going to have to fix that, you can, really use, you can use a mason jar for just about anything, so it's a very versatile design, you know, it's kind of like a big canvas. at some point just to hit this with a hair dryer and get it to dry a little bit so I don't make too much of this out of it. It's just a fun colorful design. this and come back in a minute after I've dried it off. 
Okay, so I'm pretty much got everything dry here. And now I'm going to paint my blue area. Now it's up to you how many coats you think the white needs. I've got uh, two or I think three in some spots, particularly where I picked up some pink. So uh, picked up some red, I should say, and made pink. So um, something just to be mindful of and uh, I'm probably going to do the same thing. I thought that was dry, but it may not be 100% dry. So I may be making some light blue in a minute, too. Let's see how this goes. But I want to get this on here so this has a chance to dry because um, I'm not going to do actual stars. I'm going to do polka dots, but I want to use a stencil for that. So um, it's got to be dry. So this is actually covering up pretty good here. I don't know if I'm going to need another coat of that or not. I'm, I might do it just for keeping on the safe side. But. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up and work on this um, jar a little a bit more. Uh, I'm going to do the strokes in an opposite direction here so it kind of curves and it makes you know, where those uh, parts of the metal kind of come out. So I want to, you know, kind of give this a little bit of depth by making these strokes go in different directions. And I'm just kind of curving it, which would be the way that the jaw lid itself is curved. And it's just something I like to do. I like to do some unpredictable strokes sometimes, things just to make it stand out. So that's up to you. Um, the top of the lid is flatter, so I'm just going to go around there with another coat because I did all my coats on my stripes, I forgot about my lid. And now we can go back and forth with this, so if I go over the black too much, I can always come back later because it looks like I'm going to get a little close. So. Okay, we'll go on there. Interesting. You know, if I overdo it, I can come back later and take some of that. All right, I'm gonna dry that blue section real quick. I'll be back. Right. Okay, I think everything is dry now. Um, what I want to do now, there's lots of different ways to do. I'm just gonna do polka dots where the stars are gonna be, since this is just a whimsical thing. Um, you can do it freehand. You can do it using like a little stamp. Uh, I have this stencil that I'm going to use, so I'm just going to place this down, let's see how many, where I want it, and I may go back in and add a few more later, I don't know, let's see here, what's the best way to do this, I can have them going off the side a little bit, or I guess we'll try it like that. So, um, you could use a brush for this, or you could use a stamp of some sort. What I like to use is these little makeup sponges. A friend showed me this recently, this little trick, and I just think it's the neatest thing. Um, so you just take your makeup sponge, dab it in the paint, and I usually will put some off to the side like that so I don't get too much in there, because if you get too much, you know, it's going to go underneath the stencil, and that's going to mess up your design. So that's why I did that. And then this could, you can make these as uh, dark as you want them to be. Hopefully I'm not 
going underneath the stencil that I think I might have. But um, you could tape it down. That is another way to do it. I usually just hold it and typically I don't, I've had pretty good luck with it, but every now and then I will find that I went underneath it. So we'll see. We will see how this looks in a second. So I just want to get some decent coverage. I like the texture that you get from that. You know, you, I like thick and chunky kind of texture. So let's see how, that, oh, that looks pretty good. So um, that is to just get our stars on there. Um, you know, you could do actual stars. Like I said, this is just a little whimsical thing to me. So I'm just, you know, want to take a little fun and silly. So I don't want to so silly, just fun, I guess. And then I'm going to take now um, a brush with a little bit of black on it. And I'm just going to go in some areas and I'm going to kind of do some outlines here or there. I'm not outlining the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of give it a little, little pop. You know, sometimes a little bit of an outline can make things pop a little bit. I'm not doing every spot. I'm just and I'm holding my brush sideways so I get a thinner line. You know, in it you can have the thinnest brush, but if you press hard on it, you're gonna get a fat line. So just be careful not to press too hard. And this is a good way to, you know, if there's any spots that you are not crazy about how they came out, you can sort of touch them up right now with this part of the process. And this red one. I'm kind of far away from it because the camera's here, so I'm trying to not back my head on the camera, but I think I'm going to be a little too far away from it. I'm going to have to touch up some of these after. Okay, so this one is a little... Let's see if I can get that off. Sometimes you can get it off with... If it's dry underneath, you can get it off with a wet brush or a damp rag or something like that. So. I tell people all the time, I, I'm pretty good at fixing mistakes because I make a lot of them, so. Okay, there's that. So there's one or two spots. Like I said, I think I'm just a little far away because the camera's in the way here, so I'm trying to do this. You get the idea. So, and then you can do the same thing a little bit with the blue section. I'm kind of straighten out the outlines here. I'm not going to outline my um, hold that so I can open my thing. Um, we can go around the outside of this a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pinky to steady my hand. And I'm just going to kind of go every so often because I don't want to outline the whole thing but I want to get some paint around the sides to kind of give it some shape and again anytime you're doing anything that you're just not sure just use your finger your pinky to steady it now on the left of this is kind of hard to do this side. Let's see how this turns out. So I'm going to do this side. Let's see how that's it's not too bad. And then I can go back here and anything that you know I can kind of outline the and do a darker outline on the 
which is up here. Lighten them up before. So, all right, let's see what else is we want to do here. Um, so at this point, you can take it, you can write something across it, you can write happy fourth, you can write uh, freedom, you can write celebrate, um, anything that you really want to. Um, you know, you can put your name on it, you know, the Joneses or, you know, whatever. So um, you can personalize this however you want. I feel like I need a little more. A little coat of white up here, so I'm just gonna go over this, and I'm gonna see if I have any ribbon that will coordinate with this one. I'm really not sure if I do have any fourth, any patriotic ribbon. I have to check, but it's just a fun, you know, colorful door decoration. And you know, you can hang it, if you hang them outside, you definitely want to seal them. Um, I usually use this Minwax polycrylic uh, spray that I get from Lowe's, and I'll usually give it a few coats of that. But um, it's still not something that you want to be exposed to the elements. You want it to be, you know, if you're going to hang it on your front door, maybe you've got a screen door or a porch there, but you really don't want it to hang anywhere where, um, you know, the rain and everything's going to get to it. So um, that's just something to keep in mind. But it could be, you know, you could hang it in your office. Somebody was here last night and did the um, Easter Bunny, and she said she was probably going to put it in her office, on her office door. So that's always an option, too. Um, it could go, you know, it could be for somebody's bedroom door, a dorm, could be anything. So, um, but at this point, you just kind of look at it and you see what it, you know, if you think you missed something. And, um, and you know, tweaking it needs. And, uh, let me see, I'm going to check and see if I have any ribbon. I will be right back. Okay, so you may notice I changed my lid. I had part of the was supposed to be the top part of the lid showing and then I changed my mind and I wanted to try something else. So I'll show you on the other side what I had before that and I just wanted to try something different this time. So I basically, you know, looked over everything. I wanted to make sure, you know, everything was the way I liked it. That's why I said, let me just change, try changing that up a little bit. I don't have the perfect bow for this. Um, I'm going to put one that I have on it. I mean, it's not terrible, but I would like a red, white, and blue. Um, but I don't have one handy, so I'm going to use this one for the time being. But the first thing I'm going to do is take off the back of this, and hopefully everything is okay. And I'll show you what was on the back of it. And, yeah, pretty well protected. Hold on one second there. Okay, so this was on the back. This was the Valentine's Day. Um, I'm afraid to put it down. I don't know if this is wet paint. This was the Valentine's Day one. And then you can see on the top of that one, I had a little bit of the top of the lid showing. Um, but then on this one, I just thought, let me just try putting the whole thing, you know, the lid the whole way up. So let me see how it looks with the bow on it. Um, like I said, I, I, will, I will seal it. I didn't seal it yet but I will seal it with the um, uh, polycrylic spray so that it um, has a nice shine to it like this side does. See how it's got a nice shine and it's protected? So I will do that with the other side, but this is basically what it looks like and it's, it's pretty cute. And like I said, you can write on it now, you can use a stencil and put your name on it, you can do anything you like, but I just think it's kind of a fun way to use that second side of the uh, cutout. So, all right, um, hopefully this was informative for you and uh, I will be back soon, bye. Okay, just the last little bit I have spent.
sprayed it and sealed it now. I added some kind of highlights on the side of the drawers there to, you know, to make it look a little like glass. So I just wanted to show you all the, what I think is going to be the finished product. So, all right, see you soon. Bye.